and shows a little boy and a little girl hugging. They're obviously boyfriend and girlfriend, but if you look to the right, you can see the boy is secretly holding onto another girl's hand. Did this kid really get caught cheating in a pre- school class? Some older people who cheat could learn a thing or two from this kid as he seems like a master finesser. The girl he's hugging has no idea he's secretly holding hands with another girl right behind her. And we all know that for a preschooler, holding hands is a pretty big deal. Something tells me this kid is gonna break a lot of hearts when he's older. What does the world come to when preschoolers have side chicks? Welcome to 2018 everyone. Next up is Grammar. Now we all love arcade games, but one of the
the worst arcade games that no one likes is those grabbing machines. We all know they're a massive ripoff as the prices always slide off the hook. Now as adults, there's nothing we can do about this, but one kid decided to beat the system and take action. After losing her money on this lame grabber machine, she didn't win any prizes and was not happy. But she was determined to get the giant stuffed panda, so she crawled inside the machine. The arcade supervisor spotted her inside the machine and was very mad, but the girl simply didn't care and said she needed to get the panda prize she was trying to win. She succeeded in doing this in the end, which is pretty impressive. It definitely shows determination and quick thinking that only a kid could get away with. Yeah, I think the supervisor would be a little more angry if it was a fully grown man in the machine. Either way, this girl sure does know how to beat the system. Next up is football. One of the worst things about being a kid is school, and the worst thing about school is tests. Well, one smart kid decided to use a few sneaky tricks in order to get the right test answer. The question was, which is the best estimate for the length of a football? The answers were 1 foot, 4 feet, 5 feet, or 8 feet. Now, either the kid wasn't sure or he just didn't feel like answering this dumb question. So instead, he filled in 1 foot and then added ball onto the end of the word, making 1 football. Now, 1 football would be the length of 1 football, so the teacher really can't complain. I'm just kidding, this kid probably got a detention for doing this, but he still did beat the system by technically getting the answer right. What would you do if you were a teacher? Mark this right or wrong? I would personally give him an A for beating the system, but an F for math. Next up is Fishy. This is one kid who took instructions a little too literally and ended up beating the system. His teacher at his school in Japan told the entire class to bring in a fish to observe. This meant the kids had to go out and pay for a fish just to bring into class to look at. However, one kid either didn't want to spend his money on a fish or perhaps he just forgot to do it. So instead he simply bought in a fish from his refrigerator. While the rest of the kids had to spend their cash buying goldfish and so on, this kid simply beat the system and did something different. It sure beats the other kid sitting across from him who bought in nothing. And if his teacher complains, he could simply say he did exactly what she said by bringing in a fish. Only this kid purposely took her instructions too literally. A teaching aide took this photo and it went viral on Japanese social media sites. I can see why, so this kid is either an idiot or a genius. Which do you think? Next up is outside. When you've done something wrong and your parents find out, you have two options as a kid. Either block off your room with Legos, or you have to face up to the punishment. One kid was grounded by his parents and they told him not to set foot outside. Now, for most kids, this means they wouldn't be able to enjoy the sun and would have to stay indoors. But this crafty kid found a way to avoid being totally grounded by sticking all of his body out of the door but leaving his feet in the house. You see, his parents said don't set a foot outside, so I guess every other body part is fair game. His dad took this photo of him and posted it to Reddit, where it went...